Hello, hello, welcome to uh, your channel, Your Lord, your Life and Healing, and this is Sebastian Mayapasa from Tucson, Arizona, and this time we're going to talk about rock forming minerals and porphyry copper deposits. And this video is dedicated to the uh, student who are still studying at uh, the university, geology, or any related field with uh, geology, and or a student who are already finished, but they are trying to find their first job in the porphyry copper industry. So they might find one or two questions in here. So this is started. So the first grab will be this one. So in the rock forming minerals, we have three main uh, minerals. One is uh, uh, the group of plagioclase, uh, like this one. And the second one is the um, K uh, feldspar or orthoclase uh, group. And uh, the third one is uh, quartz, um, so silicium oxide. Right, that's not show up in here, but that, that's the third one. So the plagioclase is coming from albite to uh, anortite, uh, uh, anortite the other side, and um, albite will be uh, sodium aluminum silicate, and uh, anortite will be calcium aluminum silicate. More so sodium to, to my left, and more uh, calcium to my right. And they see now the orthoclase. Orthoclase it's a potassium aluminum silicate. And uh, uh, one of the groups is the orthoclase, as you can see in here, and the, the other uh, main mineral is uh, microcline, low temp uh, temperature uh, polymorph. And um, the other um, mineral that I, I want to show in this case is sanidine. Sanidine show up in the volcanic rocks, and uh, mainly you can find it in the anisite. So you, you see, it's very good chance you, you can find it. Okay, next one. Mm, this is the uh, chart for um, macroscopic determination of igneous rocks uh, from the book uh, Petrology, Walter Wang, 1968. You can see the line of uh, division of the quartz in here. Everything to my left is going to be a quartz present. And everything to the line to to, uh, to my uh, right is going to be quartz is not present. And um, the other relationship uh, that I like uh, uh, it's uh, this orthoclase equal to plagioclase, and it's going to become monsonite when it's going to be big intrusive. And uh, the quartz uh, the the monsonite it will become uh, monsonite porphyry when it's going to become as a dikes plutonic dikes. And uh, uh, when uh, orthoclase equal to plagioclase in the uh, volcanic rocks is going to be uh, latite. So next uh, relationship we have uh, orthoclase uh, more than plagioclase is going to become granite, and it's going to be big intrusive. And uh, if it's uh, in dikes, it's going to be uh, granite porphyry, and it's volcanic will become rhyolite. The other relationship we have is plagioclase more than orthoclase. So it's going in big interest it will be granodiorite. And if it's a dikes, a plutonic dikes will be granodiorite porphyry. And as in the volcanic rock will be dacite. And uh, yes, the energy show up, show up at the andesite. So that we cross the line of uh, uh, quartz. So in my left, uh, left side, uh, right side, so the quartz is going to be little or no presence of quartz as a visible uh, mineral, but it's going to be in the ground mass. So now we are ready. Uh, and uh, we go back to this one because I want to talk a little bit about alteration because most of, uh, of the time in profit capital deposit, we talk about alteration. So uh, I'll make uh, one example, but I'll make it, uh, another presentation exclusively uh, for uh, alteration, so you will see uh, the chemical reactions and everything. So uh, let's do this example, the orthoclase, we have uh, alumi uh, potassium aluminum silicate, so in the hydrothermal system we add water, water with sulfur, we have sulfuric acid. So uh, uh, what's going to be the result? The result will be potassium aluminum silicate plus two molecules of water and um, left over will be quartz. So, so that's what, why we call uh, um, um, philic alteration. So it's a, when, going to become a phyllosilicate we call sericide. So it's the same as a muscovite. 
And so once it's sericide, we add more um, water or sulfuric acid, and then it's going to become kaolinite. We have uh, kaolinite. If we add more water, it's going to become elite or smectite. In some cases, it will be it become um, alunite. Um, potassium aluminum uh, sulfate. So uh, that's the process of alteration. So one resume again, uh, we have a potassium aluminum silicate will become sericide from sericide to kaolinite, kaolinite to uh, elite smectite or alunite. And um, so what happened with the secondary biotite? So for the secondary biotite, you need the source of primary biotite. So it's coming from the ignis rock, uh, and uh, um, so it's going to be b uh, big uh, uh, grains of biotite. So secondary biotite will be uh, very small. You can see only with your hand lenses and going to be uh, brown or black. And it's going to go by the fractures or veinlets. And you can have k feldspar also in the veinlets. So you need a magmatic k feldspar. Uh, remobilized and fractures and vein edge and there's a potassium alteration too. Okay, and uh, so let's see the next um, graphic. And uh, this is very important. Uh, this is the uh, from C. Toy 2010. This is a perfect copper uh, uh, deposit uh, model and uh, uh, showing up the different type of intrusive. So one of the first intrusive is pre or Intrusives. In our case, it's going to be the basement for Arizona will be the Precambrian granite. The Precambrian granite, it's uh, 1.3 uh, billion years ago, a pre or And uh, the, uh, it's, it's going to be everything we, we see in white in, in this chart. Uh, so the next one is going to be single mineral or during the mineral. In our, our cases, uh, we are going to see, uh, for the sample that we are going to see it, we are going to have a monsonite or the same quartz monsonite with some quartz. Okay. In uh, lay, uh, we can see late mineral porphyry in our case or dikes, you know, we are, we are going to see it's this late dike uh, porphyry cuts all the. Um, Older uh, dikes, and for our case, will be on the side. So now we are ready to see our hand sample. So enjoy it. Let's go. Let's go. This is the first sample that we can see in here. That uh, the, that's the um, orthoclase that we can see it. Everything in pink, and that's the quartz we see in here. And um, this is becoming granite 1.3 billion years ago. And we see uh, ferromagnesium, also everything black, you know, biotite and uh, hornblende in this rock. And it's um, very nice to see it in here. And uh, this is a, a, another sample. And uh, we can see the, the orthoclase in there and some ferromagnesium, but it also has this quartz vein with molybdenite. But uh, as we can see, that you know it's uh, more altered than the, in the previous one. So we see the quartz, uh, orthoclase, very nice. And uh, this is another example more altered is uh, in the orthoclase, everything but it was uh, pink, and now it's more white. and. Uh, and some sericide, some, uh, some uh, is uh, uh, kaolinite clay. And as, uh, as you can see, you don't see the ferromagnesium anymore in there. And uh, so uh, we can call this a philic alteration. That's what we we're uh, uh, talking about, right? And uh, still some places you can see the cleavage of the orthoclase, as uh, you can see in this area that you can see it. And uh, the, you move the, the rock and you see the, the cleavage of the orthoclase. It's in some places, you know, you can still see it. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, like there, like there. Yep. And uh, that's the... Um, uh, more altered uh, precambrian granite, 1.3 billion years. So you can see the in the orthoclase is completely altered to kaolinite, uh, uh, sericide, and uh, you don't see any uh, ferromagnesium. So uh, uh, everything, uh, all the ferromagnesium already has been altered. 
uh, very nice but you can still see the uh, you know the quartz in there you can still see the remains of a uh, uh, cave feldspar but uh, uh, everything has been altered to set aside or kaolinite or elite or smectite And uh, this is a, a, another sample of a quartz monsonite. Something we can see in here is that the ground mass, the, uh, you cannot see, uh, distinguish which one is a cave um, part, uh, which one is a um, uh, plagioclase. Uh, everything is altered to clay or, or set aside, but you still see the quartz ice. So that's the uh, magmatic uh, quartz ice from the uh, proto ore or the original rock. So everything is altered, you know, uh, we can call this argelic alteration, yes, and we have some quartz bayonets too. Uh, so that's how you, you are want to recognize uh, during or um, intrusive. This is another quartz mountain I, during or um, um, uh, intrusive. You, you can see, uh, the, still see some places that the uh, plagioclase, maybe orthoclase, but because it's altered, you cannot make a uh, difference which one is which. You can see some quartz bilates, but uh, still you can see the quartz eyes. That's the, from the protholate. So the original rock, intrusive rock, you know. You know and for uh, in the case of Arizona, it's uh, 70, uh, from 60 to 80 million years uh, ago. Another monsonite, uh, you see the uh, the matrix, uh, everything altered to clay and sericide. And in some places you can still see the uh, quartz ice. That, that's what we call uh, quartz ice. And you see the quartz in there. Uh, that's nice. And uh, another side also, you, you can see the quartz in there. And it has the quartz bayonet, but the quartz bayonet does not want to affect the uh, rock type. Yeah, that's part of alteration. But and the, in this moment, we are, we are seeing uh, monsonite. Monsonite is uh, orthoclase equal to plagioclase, right? But does not have this quartz ice. So less than 5% of quartz. And you can still see some places um, of uh, plagioclase or uh, cave feldspar, but everything has, has been altered. And the other thing, we, have, we see this uh, small black areas, uh, brown areas. That is secondary biotype. And, but it's still in some places you, you, you touch the, the crystals and you, you have sericide or um, clay. And uh, it's uh, uh, very nice uh, to see it. Yeah, if you can see better the, the, the crystals and the shapes in there. And uh, the secondary bagatite in there, right? It's there. Yeah. And clay. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a seeing uh, or uh, intrusive during the or the intrusive, and uh, there's another example of a uh, uh, monsonite, and uh, you can still see the the grains of uh, uh, of the uh, proto um, um, plagioclase and but it was uh, orthoclase that now is everything uh, altered to clay and the the black ones are uh, secondary bytite very small fine grain uh, bytite and uh, and that's how it looks like in the, the monsonite okay, so so this is the um, one of the last samples that's the andesite everything uh, you see um, um, some dots or spots areas that's uh, what it was uh, um, Calcium uh, plagioclase or uh, sodium plagioclase, everything has been altered. And uh, uh, because it's still uh, it's a post ore, but a site that they still have a pyrite, pyrite uh, makes acid, the acid alters even if it's a, a post or intrusive. And uh, this uh, occurs as dikes. You can see the, the voids or spaces uh, in there that has been leached out uh, in the minerals. Uh, uh, it was over there. Yeah, I, I think it's a, a very nice, uh, uh, very nice sample. Uh, I like it. Yeah, the underside you know, with iron oxides from the meteoric water. It's a very, 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 very good sample of the underside. That's how it looked like in in the field in the areas that uh, you know pre pre. Uh, or. And that's uh, another andesite in, in this one, 
you can see uh, you know some areas some spots that uh, um, has um, the uh, remains of uh, um, plagioclase and uh, and now it's altered to clay but uh, that uh, that clay is altered in the post or uh, um, water or meteoric water and uh, you can still see it in some places in there and uh, some uh, other thing that some andesite has is magnetic very little in the in this case magnetic but the the main characteristic is you will not see quartz you know as a main uh, so, uh, source of uh, forming rocks you can, you can see remains of plagioclase and orthoclase but you don't see quartz it's going to be quartz in the uh, in the ground mass but not as a rock forming minerals this is the uh, the last one very nice very nice sample i like it did you like it did you enjoy i hope you did you learn a little bit about pre or uh, rock types it's a, a granite in, a, in arizona 1.3 billion years ago and the laramide age the monsonite the quartz monsonite between 60 and 80 million years uh, similar uh, rock type and um, post ore uh, which is the andesite uh, younger than 60 million years ago and uh, Subscribe with a like and you don't want to miss it. The next presentation will be about mineralization and scarn deposit. So you don't want to miss it. Mineralization and scar deposit. Subscribe with a like. And uh, one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time.